Have you ever wondered if you are nailing those ab workouts? Whether or not you're getting the best out of every rep when it comes to your crunches or your sit-ups? How to level up? And what about kind of when to do which one? Well, then join us as we break down the basics of these classic core exercises, uncovering why relying on support could hinder your progress, and how by emphasizing time and attention, or tempo, you not only maximize the effectiveness of each repetition, but also optimize your overall workout results. Whether you're striving for that defined six-pack with crunches, or aiming for an overall core strength with sit-ups, we've got you covered. But that's not all. So stay tuned up until the end, because we got a couple of tricks up our sleeves that will skyrocket your ab gains. So say goodbye to those sneaky muscles trying to steal the spotlight, and let's dive in and transform your ab workouts. Right, so first things first, while both crunches and sit-ups aim for abdominal strength, they have distinct differences. Crunches take a far more targeted approach, honing in on your abs without putting as much strain on your lower back. They're a safer bet for beginners than of course for those with back issues. But what about sit-ups? Well, sit-ups offer a broader workout, engaging not only the abs but also the surrounding muscles. However, they come with a higher risk of lower back strain if not done correctly. And while we're on that subject, let's address a common mistake that's often seen with crunches as well as sit-ups. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's using support. So here's the thing, when you use support during crunches or sit-ups, it actually decreases your abs engagement, allowing your hip flexors to take over some of the work that your abdominal muscle should be doing. It can also cause your lower back to arch excessively, which increases the risk of strain or discomfort in the lower back area. And then there's a reduction in overall core stability. This is because the need to stabilize your lower body during the exercise isn't as necessary, so your core may not engage as much, ultimately sabotaging your workout gains. But can you imagine unlocking the secrets to a more powerful core workout, where every crunch and every sit-up delivers maximum impact? And what happens if I told you it was as simple as squeezing these bad girls? You see, by consciously activating your glutes and even hamstrings, you unleash the power of what we like to call in the industry reciprocal inhibition. So when you engage your glutes and hamstrings, your hip flexors take a backseat, allowing your abdominal muscles to step into the spotlight. But wait, there is more. Now for this video, we are targeting the more superficial core muscles, not the deep ones. So what I'm about to suggest might seem a little unconventional, even controversial. Yet when combining it with squeezing the glutes and activating your hamstrings, can really amp up your ab workouts. Picture this. Someone's about to give you a punch in the tummy. Instinctively, you brace yourself, right? Now add that to a forceful exhale while squeezing your glutes and contracting your hamstrings, cheering your abdominal contractions. What happens next? Your core gets a workout that's not just effective, but downright exhilarating. Now if you're curious about the intricate workings of your abs and how to isolate certain areas, hmm, okay. So we're about to bust that myth in this must watch video. So it's definitely worth a look-see. Um, just putting it out there. All right, uh, where were we? Ah, that's right. So now on with a, a new technique or two in your sport belly bag. It's um, time to put it all into action. And that's just it. Action is the key word here when it comes to getting the most out of every rep. And understanding the importance of the time and attention is crucial like I said it's all about the time under tension essentially it's all about controlling our tempo during each movement from the contraction to the release by focusing on this we ensure that every rep is fully optimized engaging our muscles to the max promoting both strength and growth so join me for a tour through some of my favorite crunches and sit-up exercises and of course their progressions and let's see firsthand how these techniques can ramp up your ab workouts the exercises are ranked from beginner to the more advanced, so regardless if you're a beginner or a pro, there's something here for everyone. But before we begin, let's review a couple of key points for you to keep in mind. Our focus here is building functional abdominal strength, promoting growth of the superficial core muscles, but recognizing that the total isolation of these groups is nearly impossible. Using techniques such as engaging of the glutes and hamstrings bracing of the midsection, breathing forcefully through every contraction can enhance the actual workout. Focus on time and attention for each rep. Aim for a powerful yet controlled tempo upwards with a brief pause of around two seconds before a two to four second release phase 
represented by the following notation. Aim to reach failure within the moderate to high rep range of 8 to 15 reps per set, adjusting low reps between 6 to 10 for hypertrophy and strength, and higher reps 12 to 15 for endurance, based on your own specific goals. And complete between 2 to 4 sets depending on your fitness or progression level. And remember, these principles apply to most progressions unless otherwise indicated. Now before we jump into our air blasting progressions, let's talk about something super important for beginners. That's right, supporting those neck muscles. When we give our necks the right support, we're not just avoiding any strain or injury to those muscles, we're also making sure all our focus goes into engaging those abs, with zero risks of tugging on the neck. Oh, and remember, keep that neck support going until you feel absolutely no discomfort, or until your neck is strong enough to go solo comfortably. Okay, let's start with the foundational ab crunch progression. It involves engaging the hamstrings, in this case, digging the heels into the ground slightly, squeezing the glutes, bracing the midsection, and exhaling vigorously during the contraction. Aim for a quick yet controlled tempo upwards while holding briefly before a 2 to 4 second release phase. Now in the second of our progressions, we have the integration of the TheraBand to activate the hamstrings. But all the same principles apply. Now this is where it gets interesting, and our next progression split into two groups based on your specific goals. On the left, we have the strength and growth focus progressions. Here we'll aim for failure between 6 to 10 reps, targeting those superficial core muscles for maximum strength and growth. On the right, we have the endurance based progressions. These ones focus a bit more on endurance, with failure between 12 to 15 reps. You'll also engage those deeper core muscles for added stability. But just a heads up, as we explore some of my favorite ab progressions, it's important to remember that there's a wide range of exercises available that will target your abs in many different ways. But sticking to the fundamental principles is key to get the optimum results. Additionally, don't feel restricted by the classification of the exercises being strength or endurance focused. The ones on the left aren't solely for strength and the ones on the right aren't only there for endurance. So feel free to experiment with the different rep ranges and mix it up based on your personal goals. Right, it's time for our sit-up progressions. And first up is our half sit-up. It's a great option for beginners as it provides a less intense variation of the sit-up exercise while still engaging the abdominal muscles effectively. Now remember, all the same principles apply here. Focus on proper form, controlled movement and bracing of the superficial core muscles. If you're having difficulty engaging your hamstrings during the movement, you can use a resistance band looped around the back of your knees to provide additional assistance. Now that we've mastered the half sit-up, let's take it up a notch to the full sit-up. This progression challenges your core muscles even further by requiring complete recruitment from lying flat on your back to sitting up all the way. Now just like the crunch progressions, we've divided the next couple of sit-up progressions into two categories, your strength and endurance. The strength focus variations will challenge your core with fewer reps and more resistance, while the endurance focused variations will help build stamina with higher reps and less resistance. Now as we progress through these sit-up variations, you might find it challenging to activate your hamstrings. Remember, maintaining glute activation can help compensate for this difficulty and ensure proper engagement of your core muscles. Oh, and guys, if you need any help with any of these progressions, if you need something that's personalized, drop us a comment and we'll see where we can help. Now, reactive core training such as throwing a weighted ball up and resisting the downward force while catching it is crucial for developing core stability, strength and coordination. This dynamic exercise not only engages the abdominal muscles, but also challenges the body's ability to quickly respond to external forces. Now, before we wrap up, it's essential to acknowledge the importance of balance when it comes to our core training. And while here we've been focusing on techniques like bracing to target the superficial core muscles, it's equally important to target and use techniques like the drawing in maneuver to focus more on the deeper core muscles but you can get some more insight into that by watching this video remember overtraining the superficial core muscles without activating the deeper core muscles can lead to imbalances and of course injury so strive for balance when it comes to your core routines and therefore maintaining overall core strength and of course stability
Well, beautiful people, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. And of course, if you're enjoying the content, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future content.